Alrighty, an isosceles triangle, ABC. We've got AB equals 12, AC equals 12, and BC equals 8. Remember, they don't have the segment lines on top. We're talking about lengths for those segments. Okay. If AD is an altitude, we want to find AD. Perhaps drawing up a lovely isosceles looking triangle would be our start here, right? I've got A is right here. Um, let's see, we got B, C. So I've got AB is 12, I've got AC is 12, and we've got BC is 8. Um, now, what else? I'm going to make this 8 down here. It says AD is an altitude, so perhaps I need to draw in an altitude. What do we know about an altitude? An altitude is going to be perpendicular to that base right there, right? Now, not only is it perpendicular to it in an isosceles triangle, it is also going to be a median, which would bisect it into 4 and 4. Okay. So perhaps right now, I've got two sides of a little right triangle action going on right here, don't I? So if I were to take that triangle, that yellow triangle, I was trying to grab it. Hold up, there it is. Boom. Now I've got a whole separate thing here where it's four and this is 12. I'm just trying to solve for that right there, right? So I can use my Pythagorean theorem, maybe a triple, I don't know. Uh, this one doesn't fit it. So instead, I'm going to have x squared plus four squared is equal to c squared, right? That's across from my right angle. So that would be my hypotenuse, my c squared. All right. So now let's solve. I've got x squared is equal to, whoops, hold up, pump the brakes, pump the brakes, plus 16 is equal to 144. And now I'll subtract 16 on both sides. And that's going to give me 128. Now, I've got to solve using some square roots, right? To get x by itself, i got to screw it on both sides, and I'll get x equals, hold up, I'm going to have to break that down with a factor tree. Now, I start by dividing by 2. That's my move, right? And I get 64. Now, I can keep going here, dividing by twos. But if you notice something about 64, what is the square root of 64? That is 8, and then that 2 would just stay in there. 8 root 2, all right? Now, if we wanted, just in case you're like, what? Okay, I can break this down to 2 and 32, 2 and 16, 2 and 8, 2 and 4, and then 2 and 2. Woo! We got twos for days here. So I got two times two times two. That gives me eight. And then one lone two. Just chilling inside that square root. Okay? That would be my final answer there. Eight root two. Generally speaking, we want them in simplified radical forms in a or simplified radical form in a math class. Okay? If it asks for decimals, give it. Otherwise, that is always the implied version we want. Awesome.